welcome to Thursday's Shred class. Tomorrow is going to be the last day of the year, and we're going to celebrate it tomorrow morning with our cardio class. So it's going to be a short workout, but it's going to be a fun time. Um, we're going to theme it on 2021. So the way it's going to work is we're going to have four minutes, and we're going to have two exercises we work through through those four minutes. Each minute is going to represent a round, and we're going to hopefully move it all the way through, but if we need it to stop in between, we might do that as well. All right, so we're going to have 20 seconds of a super intense, fun cardio move, and then you're going to do 21 reps of a core move. So that's going to be rotating through those two moves for our four minutes, and then once we're done, we'll be done, and we'll move right along. For tomorrow's workout, you are only going to need your body weight and maybe a mat on the floor if you want to feel more comfortable. So let's get right into your exercises. To start out, we're going to go for a high knee run. So bring your knees up nice and high. We've got 20 seconds of a super intense high knee run. And then we're going to roll down into a bicycle crunch. So we're going to be here, tap over and over. We're going to go three, four, five, six, until we get to that 21 marker. Once you're through the 21 marker, the rest of the remaining time on your one minute is going to be your rest time. It shouldn't be a ton of time. And then we're going to go right back into that high knee run for our four rounds. Once we're done those four rounds, we'll take a little rest and we'll introduce the next two exercises. In this particular case, it's going to be a plank switch and a hollow hold crunch. So first up, you're in a high plank position. You're bringing one foot up. You're going to keep your core tight and switch the feet. Keeping weight in your hands is going to keep your feet lighter and overall make the exercise a little bit more honed in on what we're trying to accomplish. From there, our hollow hold crunch reaches out. My low back is down. My feet are shooting out. And you're going to crunch in. So reach. Two. Three. Four. So on and so forth. Once we get through four rounds, we'll rest. Move on to our next two moves. The next two moves are going to be up-downs and we're going to do some cross spider hands. So your first move is going to be an up-down, which just comes down, jumps out, and stand, and up. You can always step this one out and come back in, and up, but we're not going to go for a jump on that one. And we're just trying to get our head down, our, feet, our hands down, jumping out, coming back up. Moving from there, we're going to go into a cross spider man, which is going to be in our plank position, bringing your opposite knee into your opposite elbow as we cross along the sides of our body, right? So it's going to come up and in, just like that. Moving on, your next two moves are going to be a lunge switch, and we're going to do a side plank on the left and the right. So your first move is a lunge switch coming down, jump and switch. If the jump is too much, you can just lunge back. All right, moving from there, we're going to be at a forearm plank for this one. You're going to come down. Forearm's going to be down. Hand, whoo, hands is behind the head, and we're going to lift. Two, three, four, getting to 21, and then we'll rest for the rest of that time, and then we'll go right back into those up-downs and move to the second side for the opposite side on that leg lift. Moving into our last two exercises, we're going to do some jump squats and we're going to do some penguins. So your jump squat is just going to tap to the floor, jump up, tap, and jump. Your penguin is going to be down on your back, upper ab brace, reach your hands towards your ankle bones, tap and tap. Four, five, six, seven, eight, right until you get all the way to 21. You rest for the remainder of your minute and then we go right into your next minute for four rounds. All right, so we're just going to do five little segments there. We'll rest a good amount of time in between so you guys can really work your hardest during each group of exercises. And we'll take time to stretch in the beginning and cool down and stretch at the end. Um, because it's a holiday, we're going to have a little extra special thing at the end. If you'd like to stay, there's going to be 30 minutes of Pilates afterwards, which is going to be more stretching and more core. If you're interested in that, if you want to just peace out after your 8 a.m. class, Ends, so seven to eight. Once it's eight, if you just want to say bye, that's totally fine. Go and enjoy your day. Um, but we're going to integrate them in and together, so they're going to keep flowing. You're more than welcome to leave at any time, and you're also more than welcome to join at any time, right? Because we have certain sections of exercises, if you can only join in a little bit later in the morning, say 
7.30. So just jump right into where we're at as long as you warm up beforehand and you'll be good to go. So lots of options tomorrow because it is a holiday and I want you guys to be able to enjoy it and uh, still get your workout in if you're looking to do that. So I hope to see you guys tomorrow morning and enjoy the rest of your night. Bye.